Hi there! Have you had a chance to visit the world-renowned Mayon Volcano? The Mayon Volcano is located in Albay on the large island of Luzon in the Philippines. It is known for its perfect cone because of its symmetric conical shape. Fertile soil around the volcano is used by the locals to grow their crops, cultivation of which has produced abundant food and fostered civilizations. Heat energy in the interior is tapped to produce geothermal energy converted into electricity. Geothermal energy is the heat or thermal energy that is stored deep within the earth that originates from the melted magma and the decay of radioactive substances. Most geothermal energy resources are usually found in the areas around plate borders where most volcanic eruptions and earthquakes happen. We have previously classified volcanoes as active or inactive. Areas with active volcanoes have high geothermal energy system. This is because the hot molten rock material called magma located under the Earth's surface may heat the circulating groundwater. Geothermal energy is considered a renewable energy source because the water is replaced by rainfall and the heat is continuously produced by the Earth. Most of the geothermal activity in the world occurs in the Ring of Fire zone of Pacific volcanoes. The Philippine archipelago lies along the Pacific Ring of Fire. This is the reason why it ranks second in the world's production of geothermal energy. Energy is generated by carrying heat to the surface via fluid circulation through various types of mechanics. The main energy transformations that occur in geothermal power stations are thermal energy found in geothermal reservoirs converted to mechanical energy from the steam to rotate the turbine and then to electrical energy by the generator. A geothermal power plant uses steam from a geothermal reservoir. A geothermal reservoir is an underground pool of hot water found below the Earth's surface. The geothermal power plant undergoes a series of steps to produce electricity for human consumption. The following steps are followed to generate electricity in a geothermal power plant. So how does geothermal energy work? First, wells are drilled deep into the earth to pump steam or hot water to the surface. Second, when the water reaches the surface, the drop in pressure causes the hot water to turn into steam. Third, the steam produced spins the turbine. The mechanical energy caused by the spinning of the blades of the turbine is used to spin magnets and generate an electric current in the generator. Fourth, the cooling tower cools the steam which condenses back to the water. And lastly, the cooled water is pumped back into the earth to begin the process again. Geothermal energy affects human lives in many ways. It has a great role in making our way of living sustainable and providing us a quality life. Despite its importance, we should consider its advantages and disadvantages. Here are some advantages of geothermal energy. One. Geothermal energy is renewable. It can be accessed and harvested anywhere in the world. The geothermal reservoirs found within the Earth are naturally replenished, making it both renewable and sustainable. Second, geothermal energy is more environmentally friendly for keeping a low carbon footprint. Pollution associated with geothermal energy is relatively minimal compared to the use of fossil fuels. And lastly, there is no fuel requirement because geothermal energy is a naturally occurring resource. However, geothermal energy also has its disadvantages. First, once a geothermal power plant has been built, there will be a great chance to spend more on different processes, facilities, and tools to be used in this site. Second, it poses some environmental problems because there are still other gases stored deep within the earth which are released into the atmosphere during digging. It may also require proper supervision to maintain its stability and sustainability 
considering geothermal fluids contain low levels of toxic materials that need to be disposed of. Third, being situated in the areas near volcanoes, it would be inevitable for always having a danger of volcanic eruption. And lastly, putting up a geothermal power plant may give rise to minor earthquakes as a result of digging, but the implications of these earthquakes are relatively minor because the site is away from population centers. Before a volcano erupts, it shows warnings. These warning signs are being observed and monitored by volcanologists in the FEVOLCS or the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. Notable warning signs of volcanic eruption might include increase in the frequency of felt earthquakes in the area, noticeable changes in the chemical content of water in the hot springs such as composition and acidity, the size of the cracks in the ground increases allowing steam to escape, withering of plants and vegetation in the areas around the volcano, increase in the temperature of hot springs and crater lakes within the area of the volcano, and changes in the color of steam emission from white to gray. Here's a quick recap. Geothermal energy is the heat or thermal energy that is stored deep within the earth that originates from the melted magma and the decay of radioactive substances. Most of the geothermal activity in the world occurs in the Ring of Fire zone of Pacific volcanoes. Energy is converted from thermal to mechanical, then to electrical energy in thermal power plants. The turbine and generator are considered as the most important components of the geothermal power plant system. That's all for now. We will be discussing about how different factors affect the climate of an area in our next video, so stay tuned! See you on our next video, and don't forget to keep your minds busy! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.